Hello everyone, this is LM Cubing, and as you can see, I'm finally back with a new video. Um, before I want to start with the video, I want to point out that I won't focus that much on speed cubing anymore. Uh, it's still a hobby of mine, but I'm more interested in um, all sorts of non-WCA twisty puzzles. Um, this video is also about uh, the Gigaminx. Um, so I just wanted to point that out, that um, the videos um, that, are, that you're going to be seeing on this channel from now on is uh, more about non-WCA twisty puzzles. So let's get uh, into the video. Um, a while back I made the AI solve of a 5x5 and the way I did that was um, I first reduced all of the edges, so that's uh, a center edge piece and two um, center edge pieces, I guess, um, as shown on, on the photo I just showed. And um, when all door, those were reduced, I solved all the 2x2 two two blocks with an AI strategy, just like a normal AI cube. Uh, I don't have an AI cube with me. Um, but uh, the thing is, you don't reduce uh, the cube with um, just an overall reduction solve. So you don't uh, reduce the centers, then the edges, and then solve it like a 3x3. Three three. Uh, the way you do it is you solve uh, the edges and then the blocks, which represents the corners. Sorry, which represents the corners on a normal 3x3. Three three. Um, so I then started thinking. Um, if a uh, Megaminx is actually a dodecahedral shape of a 3x3 three three, and a Gigaminx, so this represents this, and a Gigaminx is actually a dodecahedral shape of a 5x5, five five, and I'm able to solve a 5x5 five five with a reduction um, AI reduction method, then why couldn't I do this on a Gigaminx? So basically, I um, came up with a method, a very, very intuitive method, to solve the Gigaminx with an AI strategy. Um, meaning that you solve, let me show this, now you solve all blocks of 2x2 two two blocks, and reduce edges like this, so a is, um, edge piece, a center edge piece, and two edge center pieces, I guess, I have no idea. Um, and then you solve it like a Megaminx, but normally you, you reduce the center, then you reduce the edges, uh, the three pieces, three edge pieces, and then you solve it like a Gigaminx, a Megaminx, a Megaminx uh, rather. So the way you reduce it is, let me get the blue side, is you reduce the center, then you reduce the edges, and the corners just stay the corners. But the way I solved it, is I reduced edges and corners. So the center was just this piece. And the corners were these two by two blocks, just like a normal AI uh, reduction strategy. Um, so that's how I'm gonna solve uh, the Gigaminx. Uh, let me put this back. Okay, it's scrambled, but that doesn't matter. Um, so the point is, um, these blocks, as you can see, are made out of two parts. This 2x2x1 two by two, uh, by sheet and a three-piece base. And that's how I'm going to um, build the blocks around the puzzle. Make a base, make the sheet and match it together. Uh, the way this method um, um, is different from a uh, normal AI solve, is on a normal AI uh, strategy, you solve all the edges first, and when uh, they're all reduced, you don't look after the edges anymore, and you just focus on block building, on reducing the corners. Um, but the way I'm gonna I'm gonna show you uh, to solve this one is we're gonna solve the edges and the blocks, which we need in uh, the step of the Megaminx solve. So let me point that out to you. Um, my first step when I solve uh, a regular Megaminx 
as I start on the white face, you can start on any face you want. And I put in the star edges, the five edges. So the way we're going to reduce this with an AI style, we're first going to reduce the five uh, white uh, star edge pieces. So these three pieces, we're going to reduce them and put them in. Then the next step is to put in the corners. So the next step of the AI um, reduction method is build all the white blocks, all the white corner blocks, and and so on. So um, so the 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 way I I solve a megaminx, I'm use the beginners method, as I solve so first the the white uh, edge pieces, then the white corner pieces. Then I put these edges in, these F2L slots. Then I put in these corners, uh, these, so just above the edges. Then I solve these two edges, so we have like this Y shape, so these two. Then I solve these corners, these upper ones, so we have this W shape around the puzzle. Um, then the edges just above that. And then the last layer with the beginner's method. So that's the same way, um, the same order we're going to reduce the pieces on this one. We start with the white and we end with the gray. Um, and we reduce along the way. So we won't start with all of the edges and then only focus on block building. Um, but we're going to reduce along the way of the Megaminx solve steps. And that's actually the main difference with the normal AI strategy. Uh, so with that being said, um, you can start scrambling the Gigaminx. Um, I'm using the Shangsha one. Um, it's it's an amazing it's an amazing puzzle. Uh, maybe you have seen my video on it. I loosen it up a bit um, because I like my puzzles to be loose. Uh, sometimes too loose, maybe. Um, but it's an awesome puzzle, and I really loved it. And the reason that I wanted to um, that I wanted to came up with a different method is because the reduction, uh, the normal reduction method with the centers and the edges, um, is just the same process over and over again. And it's yeah, it it doesn't interest me that much anymore um, because it's always the same thing. We have so many centers to reduce and so many edges, and it's always the same process. Like if you reduce a five by five with the normal reduction method, you have only six centers and 12, 12 edges. So it's, it's not about that much, but this is such a huge puzzle and it doesn't, it does take so long. And uh, I have to say the AI um, strategy is also a very repetitive method, um, but it's different and I liked it and it's 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 um, it's fun because it's something totally different and it was fun to came up. The last layer has some um, pretty pretty challenging uh, aspects to it. So yeah, I think that's good enough scramble. Let's put this out of the way. Uh, you know what? I'm going to um, do a dual solve. So I'll solve the Megaminx uh, and the Gigaminx. Um, so you can all see on which step we are and maybe it's more clear this way. Um, if you have this uh, dual aspect of the solve. So bear in mind that the color scheme on uh, this Megaminx is not the same as the color scheme on this Gigaminx, but the strategy and the solve is just the same. So the first step on my way to solve the Megaminx is to put in all the white edges. Um, so there's one right here, so we can match it up with the green center and put it in. Uh, I do expect you have the basics of a Megaminx um, because yeah, well, it's it's very intuitive, and I'll um, make sure to go over all the the steps on the reduction process. So this purple one, 
we can put in like this then we have this white and red one so there's the white center move it around the puzzle it's right here so we match it up put it in to match with the white then this blue one we can turn in like this to the blue and like this to the white and the final one is right here you can match it up with the orange by doing this and it's in so we have all the wife the five white uh, edge pieces so how are we going to correlate this with the gigaminx um, the first thing we want to do is find the uh, edge piece which has two colors so here is a yellow and white and this needs to be matched up with a yellow piece here and a white piece over there so we look around the puzzle and here is a yellow right here so um, you can see if we move this to the red center because this is matched to the red center it's a uh, yellow piece has to be there so we put this out of the way and we move the yellow in its place and match it up like this so now we need to attach it to a white there is a white here so we move it out of the way put the white in its spot and put it in and this is the way we're going to reduce all of the edges so there's one done we can match it up with the white like this and put it with the yellow um, the begin of, of the AI reduction solve is fairly easy because you have so many uh, workspace um, you don't have to bother that much about um, destroying something you've made already so it's not that difficult so here's a purple and white uh, there's a purple hill here um, so how we're going to match this up we can put this over here to the top we can see that this purple has to be there so we move it out of the way move the purple in put this back and that's matched up then here is a white piece and here is a white piece so if we put this like this and that like so it's matched up and we can just move it down to match with the white and it's not that much to explain about it's very intuitive um, but this is the way we're going to make all the five edge pieces so here's a blue and white which already has a white so it only needs a blue and here's a blue over here so you can see the blue needs to be up there so we put it out of the way put this blue in and move it back to match up so now we can move this to the blue center and put it in with the white so that left two left so here's a white and green there's a green centerpiece over here so we move it up to match it up now we need a white piece and there's a white over there so we put this up so it can match like so now we move this so i'm basically moving the both layers because this also exists in both layers if we just move the top it's going to break up so move both layers to match with the green and put it in with the white and for the final one we're um, going to need in red and white so where is the red and white it's right here so um let's find a red or a white here is a red um if i move this like so and this up like so then it can nicely match with the edge piece now we just need a white and there is a white pop 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 boom. there is a white we have to be careful but uh, because it's already matched up um, with this edge piece so we can just move it up so this corner edge pair as one um, because we haven't done the corners yet this is one um, as one uh, f2l pair um, which you can get out replace and put it back so where are we so this white um, we can put this safely to the top so it won't be disturbed we can put this whole chunk out Put it back and replace it with another chunk of pieces so now this is in uh, this is out rather and here is our edge so we move this out of the way we put this white one 
to the top and match it up like so. And this is our final uh, white edge piece, which we can match up with the white like so. Um, so that's it for this video. That were the basics. It's the same way we're going to uh, solve or reduce the uh, two by two corner blocks. But yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.